Hi everyone, Happy New Year. It's been a while since the last video, so I thought it would be cool if we did something really uh, creative where I show you how to write a song, actually. So that song I was doing in the beginning uh, is actually a little exercise on how you could take chords in the key of E major and incorporate other notes that are open strings or a shared a bass note, like a slash chord underneath, underneath a common chord that you know, and get all sorts of interesting creative things without having to know a ton of theory. Um, so I'm in the key of E major. So if you know the notes in E major, it's E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. And the chords are gonna be E major, F sharp, and G sharp minor. Okay, so those two chords are minor. Your A and B are gonna be major, and your C sharp is gonna be minor, and you have a D sharp diminished. We're probably not gonna use that one too often unless we're getting into jazz but that's what we have to work with. So the cool thing is in the key of E, you have the E strings and the B string and the A, and those are all, all four of those are gonna be you know, within the scale. So I could add them to chords or you know, do whatever I want with it and get kind of creative. So let me just kind of show you some things to kind of mess around with here. Let's say we took a, like our bar chord A major that's right here at the fifth fret. I could you know, knowing that about the open strings, I could start removing notes. So what if I just opened up the first two strings here? That's cool. That's all in key. Um, what about if I, uh, you know, decided to just take these two notes? What if I put the A bass note underneath it? What if I held this part of the chord and put E below it? now this cool like A add nine chord with E in the bass. Now I also have B major. I could do the same things there. So you get all these, all these notes, you know, and that's just working within the notes that are there in, in, in the region that you would fret that. Um, but then I could start doing stuff like, I could go, well, you know, what if I did like, like an add nine thing? Okay, so I'm adding uh, a B right here. Okay, so what if I did that and I took just this part of the chord and went and did that sort of a thing. And I did that with, with the B chord too. See, so you have all these, all these options. You've also got, you know, a B chord down here. So I can do the same things there. You could experiment like, well, what if I put you know, this is G sharp right here in the first fret. What if I put that into the chord? Pretty cool. You know, um, what if you took the B, the A, and the C sharp, you know, stuff like that. What if I took those chords and just took just that part of the chord, which would be part of the A chord, so A sus two. What if I just move that around? See, and I'm following where the chord would be. Here's where the B chord would be. Here's where C sharp might be. You know, you have all these ideas. You could think of the notes that are here. So like. See, and this is how you get ideas like that. I could take the E shape and add something like an F sharp to it. You know? Um, what if I took that and uh, I moved it, like for example, if we look at the, your F sharp minor chord here. Okay, so a common thing people do a lot is they'll take this part of the chord and block the bass string, either like that or like that. And there you go. Now you could also put the E underneath it. G sharp minor. It's kind of cool. Um, you also have F sharp minor uh, like a minor add nine. So think about that like it's sort of like police, you know. Like the band the police does that a lot. Well, that's where I'm getting some of those ideas from. I'm going, okay, well, if I had that and that, then I left the other strings open. So it gives you tons and tons of ideas. So let's go up here. So here's C sharp minor. So I could do the same thing. I could go like, okay, what if I take the uh, C sharp, uh, oh, sorry, not the C sharp. If we take the E there and that, and I just leave the other strings open, that's cool. What if I add the bass note here? Cool. See, you 
can do tons of stuff with this. What if I do something like this? So you can start playing around. Now, that's how I got some of the chords that are out of the key, because you kind of play around a little bit. Um, you could even take, uh, like you might have seen that I, I did the, like the B chord, and I did this. It's like you've got your, your B with A in the bass. And then you could take that and then put a different note in the scale, C sharp, as the bass note. See, so so far all of the strings that are open are just strings that are open, open note, open strings that are in the scale and don't violate the diatonic key of the scale. Any of the bass notes I'm experimenting with putting underneath are in are in the key as well. So there's C sharp. So let's say if I said, oh, D sharp's one of the notes in the scale, maybe let me try that. Let me see if you've got long enough fingers. You might like it or you might hate it, you know, and you have a ton of options there. Now, how do you get some of the other, you know, ideas? Well, there's things a lot of times in guitar where you might, you might do that sort of an idea. So maybe you have a cool chord you've built out of the notes in the scale and you just go, well, what if I kept the outside notes ringing open? It's a really easy thing to experiment with on, on a guitar because the shapes are movable, you know, so that's where I'm getting some of those ideas. Um, there's also ideas like, let's say if you did, this is a real common one. So that looks like an F bar chord, but the two strings are open here. It's actually F major 7 sharp 11. So I could find those same notes somewhere else in a, in a C form shape. See, it looks kind of like a C chord if you're capoed. And I could take just a couple of the notes. And maybe you get this. And you know, that's something to think about too, is the way you mess around and um, you know, arrange the notes in the chord affects kind of a melody you would get. So if I pick it a certain way, so now you get this melody that I couldn't create with the, with the, the register and you know, the octave that the, that the notes were in there, you know, in relation to the open string. So that's, that's part, of the, part of the trick. It's sort of like, like in the song when I go, um, So I'm creating that dun da 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 dee da kind of melody going on there. Um, so really, all you need to know, a couple of your, your open chord shapes down here, and then if you think, okay, this shape, for any of your minors chord shapes that are gonna be there, F sharp minor, okay, um, any of your majors on the, Fit, uh, sixth string, so here's A and B and E. Your F sharp minors look like this. F sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp minor. Okay, and what you can do is just take those shapes and then experiment with removing some of the notes and replacing them with open strings or moving some of the notes in the chord. So let's say if we took the F sharp minor here and we were doing that, let's experiment with removing some of the notes. So I didn't use this shape in the song. Let's see what happens. What if I just put an open E string in here? That's cool. Okay, what if I experiment with making this an A now? What about E? That's cool. What if I make the um, uh, some of the other notes here move around a little bit? So let's say if we did, uh, you know, we've got B there. What if we put in, uh, like, See, and you just kind of get experimental with it. But you could literally do this in pretty much any key. You will find some chords where, you know, some of the open string notes might be a useful note. Um, but E is really useful for that. Um, key of C has a lot of that stuff too. Uh, so you think like if you had an A minor chord and you were going, okay, I could. See, and I used that one for a second in the, uh, in the song there. It's out of key because it's supposed to be, you know, A sharp. I mean, sorry, not A sharp, A major. Um, but instead, it was minor. So it's sort of like that Beatles trick where they'll go from major to, to minor to go out of key for a minute to create uh, some some tension and some kind of sweetness uh, in, in the melody. Uh, but that comes out of a C major, A minor scale. See, so I could use any notes that are that are there in the scale. So you could look for these kind of things as you're writing a song. Just start with the key you're comfortable with. Um, find the chords somewhere if you can have the movable shapes. So for example, like I'll show you, what if I'm in the key of C and I use a C chord way up here, the bar chord shape. 
So I could look at that and go, okay, I could put an open D in there. Or I could play around with this and go, okay, what if I fret this note here, which is A, which is one of the notes in the scale. See, and all of a sudden that's an interesting replacement for just your normal old C chord. Um, and it'll, it will give you ideas and you'll hear melodies and, and that's the jumping off point to just starting to experiment and create. Well, I hope this video has been uh, useful for you. Thanks a lot.